guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. Right. Aaron. And we're back with Mailbag number 268. Yeet. Everything off the table. <laughs> Have a package that says do not bend. Hi everybody. We're here to open. And it has no name. Okay. <gasps> Jeff Nap! The cop is not here. Jeff Nap. <clears throat> Jeff stress. No. What? I did it in a reasonable volume, I thought. Ooh. What is it? Star Wars arts? Hey guys, want Went to a local Comic-Con this past weekend and picked up these prints for you. The artist that uh, prints them uses coffee to do them? Nice. Must be a pro yeah, I can oh, see it. Oh, whoa. Very I thought sweet. it was like a program. You mean coffee. Thought you might like these. Hope all is well with everyone and talk to you guys later. Cat dog. Cat Thank you so much, dog. cat dog. So these are coffee-made prints. Fuck yeah. Do they, you think they smell like coffee? Ooh, look at that. Well, they're prints, mm. so the originals probably do. Yeah, you could probably lick them and get some energy. Sweet. I want these to smell like coffee. Those. You should like, they should like, he like has a coffee oh, spray. Yeah. Spritzer? Just, make sure it smells like coffee. When I am Boba Fett. Eric, do they smell like coffee? Don't you have like a really good nose or something? They're prints. Fingerprints. But, mm -mm. <laughs> the guy who delivered them. He's a smoker. Yeah, he, and he had a mocha. No coffee doesn't look good. I see. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeff Knapp. Thank you. Jeff Knapp? I, mean, like, I don't know why, but there would be like, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, mocha and depression. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was sad that day. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. How's this thing work? What are you doing? It just wants to look down. Okay, got it. Deadpool. For your consideration, Deadpool, best adapted screenplay. A note. Yeah. Is this from a uh, courier? Mr. Courier here. Mr. Courier. Hello, crew of Blind Wave. Today's oh. gifts. What's that? Are a Star Wars postcard. Ooh. That I got from a convention long Ooh. ago. Wow. And a FYC script of Deadpool. There's Jedi Quest. <clears throat> There's a lot of dialogue that wasn't used in the final movie. Some that stood out to me are on page seven. Seven. His alternate dialogue. Just stand it up, Eric. It won't. I tried. What? Just put it down. See? Ha ha! You! What did you, did you do? Fun of me. You stood fine earlier. What'd you do? Number seven. Or Page seven. seven. Oh, his alternate dialogue. Okay. Uh, Someone screwed it. Right there, seven. seven. Yeah, I know, but it's after they six. They have and like four, eight. multiple eights and nines and stuff. It's, it's, it's before those. Alternate dialogue. On your mark, get set, go. Let me go. Let me. Sh sh I don't know if this is the right one. <laughs> Let's see. Hola, me llamo Piscina de la Muerta. Hello, my name is Pool of Death. There's no way to say this. I'm pregnant, Trevor. What? Any of you seen Green Lantern? Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's his alternate right there. Yeah, nice. Uh, page 76 to 77, his fourth wall breaking line. And the final page, where there's a short and long version of the Ferris Bueller monologue, both of which are not exactly what he says in the movie. Mmm, nice. Cool. The question to the table. Question. What was it like when you found out you got to watch the first four episodes of Andor before the premiere? It was, one, awesome, because it's really cool to be able to watch what you're looking forward to early. Sure. Two, I enjoyed that. Uh, a little stressful because the last two months, in terms of live shows, have been kind of devastating to our schedule. And then we're like, mm -hmm. hey, also, let's just also put in four episodes of this show. We're like, okay, we could do that. And then three... Not as great because there's a giant, huge watermark in the middle of the screen, and it's kind of hard to... I think you skipped the most important thing. Which one was that? Was that we had to wait like two weeks after we finished episode four to get just episode five. You're right. Mm. That was the worst part. That was not great. I'm but... like, what the hell happened like two weeks ago? Yeah. No, I get you. <laughs> Everyone else just watching more. But no, there was this really funny part where people were like, before the you know the episodes came out, there was like a couple of reviewers saying like, well, if you're really like into Star Wars Easter eggs, there are none to be found. So if you care about that, don't worry. I mean, we, we watched and I was like, does these people just not know Star Wars? Because there's like so many, <laughs> you know? Easter eggs. But there was stuff that I didn't even see because it was behind the watermark. Uh. I couldn't see it well. So that's, that's what it was. I had a great time with it. I hope we get to do it again. It was good. 
Maybe this happens more often than I'm aware. I know you got to watch Visions before anything else, but this is a live-action Star Wars series. It's a big milestone, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, once you kind of get on that list, it's not hard to... It's difficult to get off that list if you, unless you just break embargo, but it's not certainly not the first time. When we had this back at my house when we did Shannara Chronicles early, you know? Sure. They sent us press copies. So it's been something that's happened on and off over the years, but again, sometimes... I mean, there have been ones that we've gotten and we just haven't done yeah. because we have zero time to do them. Yeah. So, but when we can, they're always a, a fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. Finally, thank you and the editors for putting timestamps in your videos. They help a lot finding the best clips and sound bites. That's all for now. Thank you for your time and all that you do. Well, yeah. Victor Courier. Glad it helps. Glad people enjoy it. We uh, badly need someone to do that for mailbag. <laughs> Go back and do a... 267 mil bags. <laughs> and I'll do time stands for every package. Oh. <laughs> that would definitely help with, uh, like, what all do they get? Yeah. Yeah. It would. Sick in Discord. Yep. Find out what the format is. Thank you, Mr. Curry. Yeah, mm, got a bunch of papers in here. Ooh. All right. Casablanca. Odd. Interesting. Mason here. Art? Let's see what we got. What in the world? It's a what letter is, and that? art. Looks like a bracelet right here. All right, this is from Mason to Blind Wave. We got a uh, dear Blind Wave. My name is Mason Carre, and I found your channel during season two of The Flash. Flash. I've been watching ever since, and finally have something I thought worth sending. Ever oh, since cool. I was a kid, I've always wanted to make movies, and growing up, my cousins and I would try to make many movies and YouTube videos. Same. We just we didn't have YouTube yeah. back in the day. Uh, even though our family members were the only viewers, their support inspired us to make as many as we could. That's great. You know, to master anything, you just got to get the first 10,000 hours of it just out of the way. Yep. <laughs> you know? Uh, by the time I was a senior in high school, we hadn't had the time to do those videos anymore, but I still had stories I wanted to tell. Then... COVID hit, and the mm. second half of my last semester went online. Being at home actually inspired me a lot, as I had more time to work on writing and filmmaking. At first, I began making little adventure movies with my three-year-old sister. That's fun. <coughs> cool. uh, it was your Mandalorian reactions that inspired me to make our second volume, In Space! Mm. After those, however, I wanted to do something different, because I always felt like I had a greater story somewhere inside. During all that, I realized through your reactions that I, only, uh, I wasn't only just watching for enjoyment, but I was actually subtly learning about filmmaking, film critiquing, and how to understand a good story. Seeing your different opinions of a show helped me to create something that can push boundaries, build a world, and introduce interesting characters, but still tell a cohesive, well-thought-out story. That's when I came up with Dominus. Uh, pronounced Dominus. Yes, I got it right. Uh... Dominus, I think of uh, Spartacus, right? I do too, yeah. Uh, I know there were so many others out there with great stories to tell, but as of right now, I'm only a junior in college, so it might be some time before I get to make this show. And since you guys have been so influential in creating the creative process, I felt like I had to send you something related to it, as if you got to experience it for yourself. I've also included a way to incorporate each of you into the story with artwork I sent. <laughs> There's nothing I want more for you guys to one day react to Dominus, but in case that can't happen... I have to make sure that you know all about it, Mason Correa. Thank you, Mason. And Mason has awesome. the story, the scripts, uh, the bracelet. This is a prop okay. for it, right? Individual character posters. So here's my poster, or the, and a character inspired by me. <laughs> very, very cool. Okay. Uh, we got Calvin's, and they each come with a bracelet too. Here's Calvin's. Ah. Calvin's going to love the color. Aaron is also going to love the color and his companion character and Don't his weapon. Be Bebo. Oh, it's like a Bulbasaur. And a Bulbasaur, and he's like an arrow-like oh, like character. Yeah, an archer-like character. So that's cool. We got Rick, who oh. it must be the look, titular Dominus, maybe. Look very divine. Sure. Yeah, very divine. Like Jesus great. Rick looks great. Nice. He has season overviews, episode titles, and synopsis. Oh, so planned out. All the different episodes and the things that happen. Some more art. Cool. Very, very cool. 
I love it. It's uh, it's huh. it's stuff like this, and, and, and you know, finding that inspiration. That you know, once you have the inspiration, then all that comes with it is the discipline. So, I like that each really, of these really bracelets awesome. come with like a seal. There's like a seal on them. Yeah, which I think is cool. I think this one goes with this. I never really thought about people looking at reactions and kind of figuring out how filmmaking works. Too. Well, yeah, like, you know, like why did that works, person react work. that way? Who likes it? Who doesn't like it? I mean, it? I kind of do that. I talked about this uh, earlier today in a different video, but I kind of look at that like, what is someone that isn't into Star Wars feeling about this, you know? Sure. Like, as much as I am, or anything, really. Like, we uh, recently watched Werewolf by Night, and that's probably, like, the first major corner of the MCU that I've never experienced you know or have no reference i can't point and be like oh i know what that is you were familiar with like guardians of the galaxy and yeah stuff before, everything man. else i was pretty familiar uh not with everything but like i had thought things where i'm like okay i, I think i remember that or i understand that or that's been referenced here but werewolf by night was all new and that was a really cool experience mm -hmm. for especially for like marvel so awesome thank you very much yeah, thank you mason love of luck when people send us their creativity keep at it yes, yes definitely let us know if you make it i want season two on my desk next year. <laughs> I won't give this to Rick. I don't want you have trouble. Too taped up or something. I have a sharp nail now. Good. Sweet love. I do not. Okay. It's like giant sweet love and then a paragraph. Yeah, like there's a paragraph two one there. Two point font. I can't read that. I'm very curious. I'm assuming it's like a cup. Ugh, it is a mug. Oh! oh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Bow, 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 Hell yeah. That's Jujutsu amazing. Kaisen. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be number one. So good. One of the best. That's amazing. Thank you so much, whoever sent this. Thank you, yes. I don't know who sent it, but it's cool. I will drink tea from it. Tea? Yes. Mm. Stir it with your finger. It's a little un. Gravity Falls. Gravity. Dippers and Mabel's Guide to Mystery. Oh. We've gotten so many of these different books and stuff for Gravity Falls. There's it's really a cool. Lot, yeah, yeah stuff fun. A code? And it's the barcode. <laughs> <laughs> I got excited for a second. I'm like, what? But yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, neat. Oh. What is this book called? It looks like a scrapbook almost. It's called... Uh, it's a guide. Okay, it's a guidebook. Yeah. Guide to Mystery. Cool. That's cool. I have read a few guides. Wow. It's got Morse code? Strategy guides. And I've read like... Zombie Survival Guide. Zombie Survival Guide. Mm -hmm. That one's a really good one. It's got some code cracking tips. Yeah, you need Create this your book own code. you watch the show. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Very no nice. No it's sweet. Gravity Falls is really good. If you haven't seen Gravity Falls, you should check it out. Don't look into it. Just start watching. Yep. Best thing I can say about it. All right. We got... Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm, this is cool. Ooh. It's a pop. My hero. My hero. Gigantomachia. What Sweet. a That's cool. pop. He looks, man, he looks like a titan. Yeah, he does. Big boy. Specialty series. That's awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Well, thank you, whoever. Very cool. Put them over on those shelves. Like it's been a while since we got into My Hero Bob. Sure, yeah. Well, I think we, at one point, got most of them. Yeah, yeah they have some new ones. They have Hawks now and uh, Sweet. some other of these characters. Very cool. Fat Gum, Slim Form. <gasps> fat Gum. Slim Form. <sighs> Love Thank Fat you. Gum. Thank you awesome. so much. Awesome. I said exactly what you said. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Well said. Comedy runs in three. <laughs> Rick, I apologize earlier for screaming right in your ear <laughs> while you were working. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> All right, so this says Nick from somewhere, but also okay. says Aaron. Oh, Aaron. What do you got? Ooh, I what see what it? it is. What is it? Pop. This is a pop, too. <laughs> oh. This is a oh, Thunderjaw. Dude, 
Look at that. That's cool. That's a very detailed pop. I didn't know they made pops of this. That's pretty neat. It's only at GameStop. PlayStation. Can I see that? Official. It's really cool. I like, like it. That's neat. It just looks like a figure. Like, not a pop. You know, pops have that simplicity, but this feels well, very complex. I mean, this thing's a little bit more shaped like a dinosaur or something, you know? Yeah. So, like... Maybe yeah, like the dinosaur just looks like a dinosaur. We have that yeah, pop, right? Yeah, you're right. I suppose that is true. Huh. There's no yeah. face to... Yeah, it's hard to make it humanish. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much, Nate. That's really cool. Yeah. No, I just finished up Horizon Zero Dawn. At some point, I want to go into the sequel. But we have Scream Stream right Forbidden now. Forbidden West. Over at mm -hmm. twitch.tv slash blindwave. So you should check that out. And then I'll probably do Pokemon. But then I might do a sequel of something. Um, might. might. Might not be that one. <laughs> but then maybe well there's always a chance like something comes out that I didn't realize was coming out you're right but there there's is. I have Last of Us 2 I haven't done Dark I have Souls. Horizon I haven't done I have Dark Souls I haven't done I have uh, Deadly Premonition I didn't do the first one of that. I don't want you to do need Age to. of Calamity I'm a, sequels. I'm a Zelda fan haven't done Age of Calamity Halo 3 yeah Age of Calamity yeah mm -hmm. alright well thank you thank very you, much Nate. thanks PlayStation it's a good thing <laughs> it's a good thing Ooh, Batman the Animated Series. What? So well taped. Na, na, na. Batmobile and Batman by Jada. Oh, cool. That is sweet. That's heavy, too. Is it die cast? It feels like it might be. Wow. That's Whoa, sweet. The background. Look at the back. Whoa. That thing's oh, so yeah. cool. Die cast. Yeah, awesome. The uh, the Batmobile opens up too. Yeah. You flip it around, look at the backside. Look at all those. Ooh. They have like a Batmobile for like every Batman. I feel like this is the one I would want out of all these. That's a good one. It's really cool. He looks great too. He does. He looks wide. But he's a wide I think that he's a wide man. I think that wide works. Wide Accurate. There's so many just people are just really wide in the Batman Animated series. Yep. You yep. know? He's a little silvery. It's not their fault, they're strong like, that way. Extra shiny. Oh. Stupid tumbler. <laughs> you don't like the tumbler? No, I never liked it that much. I, w I like all the other ones, though. Yeah. Uh, maybe not Justice Leagues. That's weird. Let me see Justice Leagues. Looks like what he drives around in, like, Arkham, when you have, like, a tank. Oh, yeah, it looks a stuff. lot like that. That's what it looks like to me. Huh. Yeah. I really like just the, the old school. Like, even that one's okay. Just, like, a long car. Yeah, I don't know. It's got it's the a fins. It's a Batmobile. It's not a Bat tank. Yeah, for me, it's either this one or the Burton Batman. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just love that one so much. Mm -hmm. Remember in the second one where it splits off so it can go in an alley? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah. I mean, they did something like that in like Dark Knight or whatever, you know, yeah. where like it has like that motorcycle thing. Yep. But, I don't know, something about that long car, and it just does all this shit. Yeah. What, is it the first one where it fucking goes up a wall? Yeah, he shoots yeah. up like a tether and then... <laughs> just... Yeah, it's like Speed Racer. Yeah. Like in the other one, he just drives over buildings and breaks the roofs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for some reason, that one, the, the Timber one can do all this shit. I definitely, I don't hate the tumbler like some other people do but I do love the it's a black tank <laughs> that's always been really fun uh Eric me 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 alright let's see ooh ooh okay this is alright let's see if it happened it is the toilet mug oh <gasps> now with hilarious hidden poop hilarious it wait, says hilarious so they, hidden poop wait hidden how hidden? Now, with hilarious hidden poop. How hidden can it be? Now, that's not the question. The question is, did it survive? Oh, well, shake it a little bit. <laughs> I see. So, like, the the poop's on the bottom. So, you yeah. drink all As your you drink, drink it, and at the bottom there's poop? There's poop. Mm. Yep. Mm. All right. These are notorious. I think we did finally get one, right? We did. <gasps> but not with poop. Not with poop. I think we did, everybody, and there is poop at the bottom. Poop. Poop. Yep, there's just poop in there. Yes, yeah. it's poop. I will drink tea out of uh, that. <laughs> hefty. I don't know if I'd want to drink out of a toilet. Enjoy your gift from Connor Kelly. Well, thank, thank you, you Connor. Connor Kelly. Like, in your mind, you know it's a cup, you know it's clean. Mm. At the same time, you're like, there's poop in there. toilets are dirty. Why is there poop in there? I think I could do it. I think, like, you I, think I could fill that up with coffee. Just be like, yeah, I could do it. Do you even drink coffee? No, 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 but I was just trying to think of the most like poop like liquid. I hope, like, we, I don't I haven't seen anyone Chocolate use milk. it yet, right? I hope the first time we yeah. use it, it's Ooh. just like starts leaking. 
Look at the how we thought it was good. It wasn't. If it weren't for the poop, it would make a good like cocoa pebbles. Like yeah, cereal. A bowl. Yeah. It's a toilet bowl. But the poop is like you know, but the, the poop. Bowl. But the poop. Yeah, you're gonna hit that with a spoon. The hidden poop. Well thank you, Connor. Thank, thank you, you Connor. for the toilet. And it's your lucky day. It got here in one piece, so make it one better. One piece something. I really want to bump you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Doctor, Doctor Squatch, isn't that like soap? A silk, silk, silk gripper. Yep. No silk wasted gripper. suds. No sticky residue. No dropped soap. Oh, dropped soap, Aaron. How does this work? You yep. stick it into the yeah, soap with hammer. ease. And, and by the nature of what it is, it also self cleans. There's two of them. Oh, it's the Star Wars soap. Is this the new Star Wars soap? Because they made new ones too. Did they make new ones? Yeah, I actually, I we got some before, and I I ordered more. I was afraid I've of been, using it. I've been using them for special. Wayne. Legendary lather of Luke Skywalker, a sinister scrub from Palpatine, a resistance rinse with Ray, and the suds of darkness from Kylo Ren. The All the smells darkness. mixing together. It's so much. It's pretty good. You can smell them individually. Ugh. Mm. It's not bad. That's the very cologne. I think you would like this one. Yep, that's a... Uh, I've ranked that. Don't think one. you would like this one. It's not terrible. The, Ooh, cinnamon. This one's better than that yeah. one. Oh. Am I right? Yeah. Ah! That's three. God. See? I know Rick pretty well. I don't know what that is. I like it. I would put that number two. This is my ranking. Is it from left to right or right to left? Left to right. I like the red one best. Mm. Mm. It's the least strong. I think it's enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, gotcha. But no, I like these bars of soap. Yeah. Very and cool. the grippers. I will they fit in here too. They can! Thank you, whoever sent these. I don't know uh, who Thank did you. it. Thank you. But I appreciate it. Very much. Dr. Squad. This is from LKG. LKG! LKG! Rick, I can. No. Rick. Okay. Oh, power. Rick, we can just. Uh, I can. Uh, I can cut. Okay. Ooh. A Lord of the Rings puzzle. Huh? A puzzle. 3,000 pieces. Wow. Dude. By the time you finish this, like, half of the second movie will be over. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like, you. Eric, that's what it needs to be. It's like, how how long through the movies will it take before this can be put together? Yeah. I think it's a fun idea. Can you get it all put together before all three movies are done? Extended edition. Thank you, LKG. Very nice. You. This is really cool. Yeah, is that what is. the puzzle is in? I would imagine. That looks nice. I love that. There's everyone's there, and the, and the sky is awesome, and the ground is awesome. There's the fellowship. Aragorn's got a sword. <sighs> he has described it well. He did. We can work on this during Rings of Power. Oh. I don't want to distract from it. We've already seen the other ones, though. That's true. Very cool. Maybe, Thank you. It'd be cool to do that. Who wins? When I am sick and at home, that's like my go-to. Puzzles or Lord of the Rings? Puzzles. Hmm. But Lord of the Rings, too. When you're sick, you put together a puzzle? I, I like putting together puzzles, but I almost never do unless I have a good reason to stay home and do nothing, you know? Mm. All right. Let's see. There's tape here. This is a shoebox. Then you want a size 12? I do not. No, sir. 13. I'm 11. Ooh, okay. All right. We got a fire ferret hat. So, uh, fire ferrets from uh, Korra. Legend of Korra, yeah. Oh. Uh, Rick. Oh. Fine. Hey. Oh, I yes. had I'm this sure. t shirt and I wore it out. Well, I'm another. Nine. But it's awesome. fat, Eric. Is it fat? It's actually large. Well, damn it. That's unfortunate. It's a great shirt. It'll sure look great on you. Very unfortunate. Hello, crew of Blind Wave. Uh, here is a Fire Ferret Legend of Korra hat and Cowboy Bebop Iron Shirt. <sighs> Fat person size! That I hope you enjoy. Uh, quick side note, but remember last time when I sent the Ancient Magnus Bride parts one and two on Blu ray? Yep. Well, coincidentally, Literally the day after that mailbag came out, uh, TAMB Season 2 was announced for April 2023. Sweet. Personally, I was just really surprised to see that announcement, but also excited. Like I said before, it's one of my favorite anime ever, 
And hey, sounds like the perfect time to react to it if you ask me. Anyway, hope you enjoy the hat and shirt, Michael Rutherford. Thank you, Michael. April's going to be a good time. That's coming back. I think Dr. Stone's coming back in April. It's a lot. Uh, and oh yeah, I got actual shipping labels, so I won't have to tape entire sheets of paper onto future packages anymore. Oh well. Nice. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so we much, Michael. It. Rick, stop. I will wear this. Fucking yes. with it. Yes, I will wear we'll this. It will stand Obi on its own. To the dog park. And we'll have a good time. Ah. But if you spin this around, it gets loose. I can't not fidget. Don't fidget this. Fidget something else. Can't fidget. Leave this one alone. And then it will be fine. See? It works. All right, we have two left. So okay. do you want to do the one thing? Sure. Whatever this thing is. There's a thing Malik. for Aaron. We can do that, and then we can do those two things. This you know? is from Malik. And this is, it says, for Aaron. Okay. From Malik. Let's point that right you know at his face. Should I look away? reaction close Are supposed up. to do this? Uh, yeah, until I get it up. <laughs> what? Nothing. You getting it up, Aaron? Don't look out. Blah, 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 ah! Okay, we're ready. Can I look yet? Yep. Uh huh. Three, two, one. Ah, up, Sammy. Aaron? How are you doing? Uh, Sam Whitworth here. <gasps> What's going on? So Hassan thought it might be fun for me to just talk. 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 Probably about Star Wars. Let's probably talk. about all that stuff, right? I think as I, as you can see, I'm more of a Star Trek guy. I don't really know Star Wars. I don't really like Star Wars. He lies. He um, lied to us. I, He's I, I, streaming. I respect people that do. Deep back there. But Thanks. it's really, it's Brilliant. not necessarily my thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a beer. I don't know. I respect you, though. I respect you. It's just, I, I think it's just kind of, you know, it's a kid's thing, and it's not really anything that I, that I uh, <laughs> know much about. Um, but, uh, but yeah. But yeah, I hear that you, uh, that you are <laughs> super into it. Oh, 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 by the way, see that? Do you know what that is? you know what that is? Aaron, that was that's um, actually Drew Drew's an original. It's a comp. It's a uh, concept piece. What? For the Revenge of the Sith poster. Wow. And it is original. Drew Holy gave it to me. Holy shit! Um, yes, you. For helping him out with something. So that was one of the concepts for the Revenge of the Sith poster that George. Wow. Uh, George was like, "Yeah, not that one. Uh, go with a different one." <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, this is one of my dogs. This is Walter. Oh. He's a huge geez. Star Wars fan. But he hasn't seen it all yet because he's not ready. You're not old enough to watch Revenge of the Sith. It'll freak you out. It'll freak you out. Just as a kid, right? Oh, good boy. Oh, what a good um, boy. <laughs> yeah, what's happening? Hello, and hello to Rick, Calvin, and Eric, all you guys. What's happening? Uh, I, I'm super enjoying uh, the Andor show. Um, and not just because of that. Not just because oh, of that. I know, right? right. right. Yeah, oh, um, fuck. I, I knew about that. I, I've done a bunch of... I continue to do little things for them here and there, sometimes behind the scenes things, sometimes voice things. And yeah. So Andor had seen quite a bit of that stuff, and so I knew a lot of that was coming. Um, but, but, I haven't seen the episodes yet, so I am so excited to see this different, um, tonally different take, tonally, uh, on yeah. Star Wars. I just think it's super cool. Um, I think Diego Luna is just magnetic. I think he's terrific in that role. And uh, I think, in, in a way, this character and the way that he performs works better for a television show. The sort of subtlety, you know, with the movie, you really have to make, you know, for Star Wars movies specifically, I think you have to make big moves. And yeah, I can really see what Really make him detonate on screen. Mm -hmm. and, and his character actually works better as a slow burn and as someone draws you in and, and is experiencing things internally and stuff like that. You know, I can understand that. Mm -hmm. You know, good for that. So anyway, I just, I love it. Anyway, here I am, talking about Star Wars. What else can I tell you? Um, <laughs> the problem fight is talk about Star Wars. Right? I can tell you that me and Dave Filoni were absolutely terrified when we were bringing them all uh, back. Back in the Clone Wars. And we would talk over and over again for like two months before we recorded. Dog wasn't a fan of bringing them all back. the character he gave me all the He's information he, he hadn't seen the part yet from George about where the story was going and what was going to happen and um, and it was interesting it was really interesting because he felt like I needed to be armed with information we needed to be in lockstep on the same page but moreover he never told me what the guy sounded like He's told, we were just talking about who he was and Dave told me like what he needed about who this guy was and that really tells you everything you need to know about Dave Filoni you know he that's great he really gets this stuff and he also gets how actors work and he trusted that if we 
understood both of us who the character was that when we, were, when we recorded it it would just sound right sure so then when okay. we recorded it i remember my first take was like i was screaming and yelling and doing all this stuff in the cave this crazy spider mall and then <laughs> cut and then there was silence and there was a bunch of people behind the glass and i was in the booth and no one was saying anything and good, I was like, oh. but... so we blew it huh i was i i blew it Oh boy, he's trying to figure out how to get me to not do what I just did. That's why he's talking to all these people right now. And then after about a minute, Dave hits a button. He goes, "Sorry, Sam, to keep you waiting. Sorry, uh, we're just we are discussing my um, extraordinary wisdom in giving you this role." Awesome. Anyway, so that's there. Let's be talking about Star Wars, Aaron. I hope this was in any way enjoyable. Um, it could and, be longer. Uh, hell yeah, at full speed with you. Yep. Yeah, man, I could have. I could watch him talk more about Star Wars. I could talk with him about Star Wars or a podcast. We will we'll, we'll invite him. Sure, no. every month until it happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that was really awesome. Cool. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Sam and Malik. Appreciate yeah, very that. much. But no, that's really cool. No, there's I just, you... like I'm, I'm glad that he's like I knew about this. Yeah, because <laughs> Andor has like a in a in a like a I don't know. It's like a museum. There's all these like artifacts and stuff, and one of them is like. An outfit that looks a lot like a Star Killer outfit from Force Unleashed. Force Unleashed. There's a few differences, but it looks very, very similar. And mm. That's basically what it is. Nice. That's cool. And it, oh, it had a Briar pistol from Dark Forces. Kyle Katarn. <laughs> that was also great. <laughs> uh, I also love. I didn't really thought about the idea of casting Sam as Darth Maul. Comes with the added benefit that that guy, who is a Star Wars fan, knows how much it is that like people like thought it was going to be weird. And don't fuck this up, sure. you know. So yeah. anybody else, maybe it would be a good decision to have someone that doesn't care. But I think having someone that knew how big that was, sure, and how much that like on their shoulders, like I like the idea though, because you have him as a fan who likes Darth Maul, right? Yeah, he knows who that character is. You hear a little bit of his voice there, but you're like, who is this guy now? Who has he yeah. become? And you describe who he's become, and then you're like, okay, well, I know what he sounded like here. What does yeah. he sound like now? And then he can create that voice in his head. Yeah. I think it's really cool. And you don't have to fill him in on like what the galaxy's like, and here's what Maul cares about, here's what he doesn't care about. But he's going to have a pretty good idea of, like, oh, okay, Shadow Collective against the Clone War. You know, he's going to mm-hmm. understand that stuff to the point where he's correcting them about things. Yeah. And I also <laughs> I liked his uh, Revenge of the Sith yeah. concept poster. It was really cool. That was awesome. That was a little George thing. Drew Struzan. Yeah, was so good. I'm so jealous of that. <laughs> but yeah, he also is very into Dungeons and Dragons uh, to the point where I think him and the guy who wrote and directed Fanboys, Kyle Newman, like worked on a D and D like official D and D guidebook together. Yeah, I think we got that in mailbag. Yeah, actually. Mm-hmm. So yeah. in his streams, that looks a lot like the room he streams in because uh, he has mm-hmm. a Twitch stream. But he streams like he'll play. Uh, what is it? Is it Thief? Like the old first person like stealing game. Oh, thief! Yeah, thief, right. He yeah, plays like thief those. Goes. He plays like XCOM. He pl- he plays a bunch of old games I've never heard of and stuff. Cool, but it's all it. very like it's that very like game nerdy, culturey kind of games where it's like, man, I haven't even, I haven't even played these games. Oh, I like one. Yeah. So it, and he always talking about all these stories and stuff while he's streaming and whatnot. And back during uh, when his time in Supergirl, uh, shortly after that, he had uh, Katie McGrath mm-hmm. involved in a Twitch stream, and they were like streaming together and That's talking cool. about stuff. He also played the old Indiana Jones. Uh, point and click action adventure games and stuff. Fit of Atlantis. I think so. He was playing those. Like he just plays all those kind of games. It's cool. really cool. So one of my favorite things I've seen is the they were recording and they had footage of him being Darth Maul for the first time in the booth with Clancy Brown. Like, is that your brother? Your brother? You know? And he's going in there and like, you know, you're not really thinking about what you look like. So he's like, always remember I am fear. Always remember. You know? And he's like going crazy. And Clancy Brown's like in the background like. <laughs> Okay, brother. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay, brother. Yeah. It's really funny. What do we do now? You know, he just does that and just standing there talking. Yeah. No, it's really good. I've seen that thank too. It's you. a lot of fun. But no, awesome. thank you very much. That was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. I, was I am incredibly be. jealous that it was mainly meant for you. Yeah. They mentioned your name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, last two things we have. Yes. Here's one more. <coughs> do, do, do. Ooh. Ooh. What? Oh, the yeah. Dino Megazord. Oh, it's my favorite. Oh, man. Oh, should we take it out? It's a dream yeah. of mine. Uh, it's trick. <laughs> Does it actually morph and stuff? Oh, man. I'm sorry. That, I took that out. Before we do it, it's 505. Is that okay? Or? What do you mean it's okay? 
Well, what I mean, do stop and open, open this tomorrow? No, the next day. We I just want be respectful of your time. <laughs> hey, Blonde Wave crew, it's so awesome to see how much y'all enjoyed the Power Ranger figures that I sent you. Because of that, it felt only right to send you this. Enjoy, Brad the Young. Thank you, Brad. We actually, when we set up our new setup here, we had the Power oh, Rangers lucky. guarding our new TV. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, man. Oh, fuck you, yeah, man. And this and fucking sandwich oh, we're gonna make you leave the stream, shit. but uh, all right. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't... I had... Man, what did I have? Come on, get out of here. I had the Megazord, I think. I never had it. I never had the Megazord. I had the Megazord. I had toys that were kind of like the toys we just had. But I never had the Megazord. I had Megazords from a series I hadn't seen. See, if you plug something into him. Yep. Ugh. We're gonna need instructions. Oh, gotta take yeah, his head off. Oh. I picked him up and his foot immediately came up. Oh shit. Right, I'll put that Rick, back. don't break it! It's gonna be fine. Rick! I will say that this pterodactyl. Oh, I see. Is a little weak. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, that's not what it looked like. He's a guy. Now, this is what it looked like by the end, I understand. Rick, yep. if you break this, I'll be safe. It'll be hell to pay. Do, are we putting it together? Is that what we're doing? I don't want to break it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you breaking it, Eric? I can't get the foot back Stop on. Stop breaking it. Oh, man, this is so cool. Look at this. Okay, should I put it back together? Ah, there you go. There's the foot. 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 Where's the... Where's uh, the... This side's stuck. You're done. I'm afraid to break it. Don't break it. No, break. It's hard to do while holding it. I took care of the feet, guys. I got the... Chest piece. Hold this for a second. I have. I read. I redo the chest piece. That goes here. That this is there. this is the chest that piece. Up. This one. Massive though. This is the chest trick. It comes in and goes. By the end. He's. It's on the back. No! 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 See. Oh yeah. Maybe there's two different ways to put together. Up. It's like the pauldron comes up like this. So you got. You got this going on. Oh, cool! That's what it does. Ah, oh, neato. So you can put this together. You know how like it always like it put together and then it fucking like rolls down the road. And, oh yeah. And then it like stops and then it, and it stands yeah. up. You can put it in all okay. the forms. Okay, that's cool. That I think is supposed to come out. I'm gonna break. It. Don't break it, Rick. Don't break. I it. I don't want to break it. Yeah. The other one was easy. Where the fuck? So I feel is like this... I'm doing something wrong. Where does this tail go? So there's. Him, you pick up his head, okay. and you stand him up on his feet, yep. and then you turn him around, and then you lift up a back piece. I'll put his feet back on. Those like the that. shoulders. And then these come down, like that, and then it opens this way. Yeah, that other one, it's, it doesn't want to come. Uh, I don't want to break I'm you! Of breaking it. I had to force this one ear to come back up. I don't want to break it, we just got it. Uh. I'm afraid. All right. I don't want to. I give up. I mean, if that one right. does it, the other one. I'm just going to pull. Pull it! I'm so afraid. There's no way a child could do that, you know? Could use the Mega Sword. Yeah! Nice. Ah, ha, ha! How'd you do it? Damn it! No, just oh, this piece moved. Dude. Fuck! It's all a lie. Man. I don't know. Right. I don't want to break it. I'm afraid of breaking it. I can't even get it with this, trying to wedge it. If it breaks, then I can't put it together, and I still don't have a Megazord. Yep. <sighs> Thank you. Great. Oh, it looks like it is. No, I'm kidding. It's <laughs> so easy. Like, I don't see. It just says do this. We'll Dude. give it around the office and see who's worthy. Mm. Someone will be able to do it. Calvin's usually good at this kind of thing. He probably needs the shoulders. <laughs> it might It might need the shoulders first. Yeah, I think what happened. Got it. Oh, yeah, you did it. Whew. The shoulder's on quick. Thank you, right, Master Sword. This goes like this. That goes on his back, right? Power sword. This goes like this. Yeah. This connects here. Yes. Right? And then it wraps around here. Yes. And then this connects here. Click it. Yes. Um, I feel like we're missing... Where does that go? That doesn't go anywhere on the finished one, right? Oh no, it's the it's cod piece. Yeah, it's his cod piece. 
There's a little... That uh, top tab goes in and out on a hinge. Oh, is it a shield? Oh. What are these? These were the Mastodon's feet, oh. which you could still put on there. But. Gotcha. Just like that hole. It doesn't want to go in that hole. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> We've already learned. Just force it. Works every time. Where's the tail go? I think it's done. Oh, wait. Well, what? what? The tail is just there. I don't have a tail. I remember the tail just being there. Maybe it folds up. Guitar! I don't know. I don't have an answer for this tail. It just shows the tail there as its finished yeah. form, which now looks we need odd. To now we need the dragon's door so we can put a little shawl on it. Pretty cool. I love it. I want to play. You want to play? Yeah. Don't lose his feet. Here. Dude, like, these guys always had the best movement because it's just a big guy in a, a suit and it's always like... <laughs> you know? Thank you, Brad. Thank what, you, Brad. This is awesome. What I think is really cool is that you can put it together in its like transport mode. Yeah. And then you can transform it into its like its, like fighting mode. That's really cool. Which is really neat. I like that a lot. Oh. Did you say buff? What'd you say? <laughs> no, okay. We should hold on to these. Yes. Yeah. And these, and this, and these two. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Brad. There's one more thing. Oh, one more thing. <sighs> Heavy. This says fragile. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it's heavy. Ooh. Thank you for your order. <gasps> Exotic snacks and drinks. Mmm. Ooh. Let's see what we got. Our first drink. Oh. Wow. Is that Majin Buu? It's Majin Buu. Boo! Peach flavor. Ocean bomb. <laughs> Ocean dub. <laughs> huh. Cool. Ocean bomb. Ooh. What character do you think is next? What, what color? color is it? Red. If you get it, I will give you $100. Uh, Do the Dragon Ball? No, it, I didn't say that. Dragon oh. Ball GT? Dude, he's red. No, right? not red. Uh, uh, Raphael. Nope, it's Psyduck. <laughs> well, shit. Dude, there we go. <laughs> we got Psyduck here. Flavor. Yeah, I was really just excited. Holy shit. Though this one That's is cool. Dragon Ball Z, it. it is Piccolo. Very cool. Pickle flavored. Yes. Is it? No. That would be awful. And then from a whole other franchise. <laughs> it's your quirk, not his. Midoriya. Oh, ReZero. <laughs> Sweet. Cool. Man, there's a bunch of them in here. Let's see. The top of this is weird. Look at this. That thing's weird. This one's normal. Is there hair in this? No. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's hair. Bakugo! Explosive. It's an energy drink, huh? I don't know this one. By Funimation. Ignite. Uh, Agresuko. I'm not sure who that is. Liquid Rage. I don't know this either. I've seen this image, but I don't know what he is. These are so well packaged so that they don't get hit. Goku! Chibi Goku. Chibi. Nice. And there's no Goku without the Prince of All Saiyans, Nappa. Vegeta. Oh. I thought you were going to say Chi Chi. Nappa. Nappa's His awesome. His wife. I love Nappa. He's a best. Ryu from Street Fighter. Hey, cool. Another Pokemon, Aaron. What Pokemon do you think would be next? Probably okay. Pikachu. I'm going to say um, it's uh, Pink. Apple. Pink? Pink. Pink Pokemon. Go. First one. Um, Clefairy. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff! You ain't Clefairy. So. <laughs> the only other one I think it would be Chansey. Also, Gohan. I think this is the last thing. We also got here some snacks, which include this uh, crayon. Crayon? <laughs> A crayon, okay. I wasn't making a joke, but that's what it is. Uh, Kukia, Kukas, I'm not Rain. sure. Comes in a little, comes in a little thing there. What is this? And then Toy Box Cream. What? Which is hazelnut cream. Like a toothpaste? There you go. Cream. Maybe use it to fix your toolbox. You cream. Throw, like crackers? Toy you got the cream. Something. It's got the cream. Uh, Peyton sent us this. Thank you, Peyton. Well, thank you, Peyton. Thank you, Peyton. So nice. Let me see this. Love it. Well, that was awesome. We were going to put that in the fridge, let those cool up, and see what they taste like. Hazelnut cream with cocoa. Yeah. This would be nice to brush my teeth with. What? What? No. Yeah. Why not? Do we get them clean? 
Ah, it's closed. Ah, damn. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, smell it. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Mailbag. If you want to send us stuff, you can. There is a address down in the, uh, the description. And uh, also thank you to Sam Witwer for your well wishes and Star Wars talk. And we're out of time. What? <laughs> <laughs>